Hello everyone. In this lab, we are going to create VPC network and subnetwork using Terraform. And for that, just simply go to GCP folder and inside you can see authentication and Google Cloud Storage. And here we create a new folder. Let's name it network. And inside network, we need to create a couple of files, but we can also take it from cloud storage. You can take main.tf, provider.tf, and case.json. And let's go to network and paste it. And as usual, we don't change anything from the provider.tf and case.json from our service account. The only thing we need to remove is inside main.tf. We'll start creating our resource block inside main.tf. So here, let's go back. And let's go to CD and network. Network. And let's start creating our first resource block, which is VPC network. For that, let's go to documentation and let's go to Terraform registry page. Terraform registry network GCP. Let's go and Google Compute Network. Let's click on that. Let's go below and here Google Compute Engine. And here you can see Google Compute Network. There's also Google Compute Subnetwork. Um, let's see a search network. And yeah, inside here you can see Google Compute Network. So Let's go to the argument reference and you can see also the example how to create Google Compute Network and name project the auto create some network. Let's go to argument reference and you can see his name is required. The description is optional. You can create auto create some networks optional and you can make it when set to true and routing mode MTU enabling ULA internal IPv6 and project since we have already provided project in provider.tf we don't need to provide the project here delay default route on create you can also it make it true or false so let's go and visual studio code and create resource block resource it will be google compute Compute network will compute network. The first one will be auto VPC TF. Let's name it like that. And and let's copy it and let's change it to auto to custom. The first resource block will be for auto VPC network. The second one will be custom VPC TF. And here we'll name it name and we'll give the same name here auto VPC TF and here also we'll give it name and it will be custom VPC this time custom VPC TF and here you use I think you have already seen here the auto create subnetwork will make it We'll make it true in auto VPC TF. If you want, you can click, you can press Kelter and Shift, and you will see some suggestions. And it says when set to true, the network is created in auto subnet mode, and it will create subnet for each region automatically across the IP address range. You can see. Let's click on that and make it true. And let's copy this same, and here we'll make it false. And this custom VPC TF, we need to create the sub network. For that, let's go to the Terraform registry page and search on Google Compute sub network. Here you can see Google's Compute sub network. And you can see the example, name, region, 
and you can see the argument the name project region let's go to let's click on that arguments and you, you see that network IP CID range and some other arguments we need to provide let's go to Visual Studio Code and create a new resource block resource Google compute sub network sub network and we'll give the name of the region so in this case I'm gonna choose Asia South South East one subnet Asia South South East one subnet and here we'll give the name and the name would be this Asia South East one subnet and the network is another required argument here Google compute Google compute network dot custom vpctf dot id and another argument is region region would be as we choose it here like asia south asia south east one no subnet asia south east one and another argument is ip cidr range here you can see ip cidr range range of internal addresses that are owned by this subnetwork provide this property when you create a subnetwork for example you can see ip cidr range ranges must be unique and non overlapping within network let's choose um, let's say PCID range um, 10.1.0.0 and let's say 24 and we are done as you can see um, we created Google Compute Network with auto VPCTF we created Google Compute Network with custom VPCTF and here we are creating subnetwork in region Asia Southeast one for custom VPCTF and now let's create also this now the the show the output for ourselves the first one would be auto and the value would be Google compute it's not giving me suggestion network dot auto vpc dot tf dot id and let's copy that and here let's say custom and here it will be compute network dot custom let's choose here custom custom vpc.tf.id so before we run we need to provide the, the role let's go to google cloud platform and when you go to iam and admin you'll go to iam and here you will see the service account that we have created and here you go you can see terraform with gcp and we provided storage admin role already in in our previous labs so let's click edit principle and you will see here storage admin add another role and let's say network let's search network and it will filter here and here you can see compute network admin which has a full control of compute engine networking resources let's click on that and save it let's go to visual studio code and here let's go and run terraform init first and we can also run terraform validate
you can see here we have some space here you see this is some space so to to make it to make it format you can run terraform fmt and you will just look at that and when i run it terraform fmt you can see it's now formatted so this is another terraform command you can run and format your codes you can see so and now let's run terraform validate before we run terraform plan and it's showing success so let's run now terraform plan and you can see what actions are performing here the google compute network with auto vpctf google compute network with custom vpctf and there is also google compute subnetwork with asia southeast one subnet so let's run it let's run terraform apply and click yes and now it's creating google compute network with auto vpctf and custom vpctf and it will take some time as you can see it's still creating still creating we can go to i navigation menu and vpc network and vpc networks and here you can see our created auto vpctf and custom vpctf this is auto vpctf as you can see with 35 subnets and the custom vpctf with one subnet you can see the mode auto and custom terraform is as you can see it's applies complete resources three added zero changes zero destroyed you can see and you can also click and play around with it let's click custom vpctf and inside you can see we created aj south is one subnet and you can see ipv4 stack type and you can see internal ip range and external ip range is none secondary ip range is also none you can see the gateway and you can see the private google access and flow logs if you want to allow private google access you can simply go to here the google sub network and here inside inside our sub network let me show you how you can do it so you need to just uh, need to run this command let me go here and here in arguments IP CID range description you can see the gateway address private IP Google access you can see whether the VMs is a subnet can access Google services without assigned you can see private Google access here we can make it true here let's go to visual studio code and here inside the subnetwork you can simply make it private IP Google access there is a I also private IP v4 uh, v6 Google access let's make it private IP Google access and we can make it true and let's now apply it and click yes and it's now modifying it's now still modifying apply is complete zero added one change it let's go to google cloud 
VPC networks and inside here you can see it's now off we need to refresh it so let's come back and commit again custom VPC TF and let's refresh it and as you can see private Google access is on the same for flawless you can use and you can use the same argument so this is how you can create the VPC network using Terraform we created auto VPC TF and custom VPC TF and we played around with some arguments so if you want you can go to Terraform registry page and play around with other arguments with Google Compute Subnetwork and Google Compute Network. So this is all about it. Uh, in the next video, hopefully we are going to create Google Compute Network firewall, firewall rules, firewall policy. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.